hi guys welcome back to my channel hopefully you all are doing well so for today's video we have another one of the um, review my purse segment video um, and for today we are actually going to be taking a look at one of my newer additions to my collection which is going to be the um, Chloe small woody tote bag and this one in particular is in the um, brown trim. So if this is something that you are interested in, please stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, so let's get out the detail first. Um, so this is the, the smaller version, the updated smaller version. And right now in the United States, I believe this one is actually retailing for 1150 in the Chloe website and um, other retailer stores too. So I know... Nordstrom has them. I know Chloe has them. I'm not sure if Bloomingdale's or Saks Fifth or Neiman's. I just, when I did a quick through, like quick search, I saw Nordstrom and then I know they have it. Um, so this one is the smaller one. And then in the brown trim, so this is the brown. And at the moment, they have like four or five different colors. They have like a light beige, a uh, blue, a gray, and I, I don't know. I want to say navy or black, but I can't remember. Um, so this one comes with this bag. It's actually, most of it is linen canvas. So you can see right here, that's canvas. The whole um, bag is canvas all throughout. There's like one split right there. Um, and then this is also, even the handle is actually canvas, but it has like a leather trim on the inside. Um, the strap. And the lining right here, it's all calfskin leather and it's really good. It's got a little bit of like stiffness to it, but I feel like the more I've used it, the, the softer it had gotten. And then on the inside, it's just like one big compartment with one flat pocket, just like that. No zipper, no divider or anything like that. And then on that tab, it says Chloe made in Italy. Okay, um, Okay. so I already said this is the linen canvas with calf skin. It's got two handles. It's got a removable adjustable strap, which is good. Um, it's got one, two, three, four, five um, adjustable grommets or holes, I think is what you call it. And you have this little tab right here to make sure that this doesn't like flap away. And then it's removable, although with my, the whole time that I've been using it this summer, I never really took, like removed it, but you can actually remove it right there. So if you want to carry it just like, um, just by the handles, you can. Some when I Whenever I do it though, and I don't want to use the strap, I would just like tuck it in like so, and then it would be like that. So I really like that. There's a lot of, um, ways that I can use it. So just uh, really quickly for the dimensions. Yeah. Okay. So the width is 10.4 inches and then the height is 7.9 inches and the depth is 3.1 inches. And then the handle drop is, so the handle drop is 4.3 inches and then the strap drop is 20.5. Um, I guess that would be, I'm not really sure if they meant like 20.5 from the shortest setting or from the longest setting. I didn't really measure, but there's a lot of, you know, if you're taller, obviously you want to make it longer. If you're shorter like me, it's on the shorter side or shortest setting. Okay, so let's start with the cons first. Um, I think one of the cons for this one, especially if you're buying it from the United States, is actually the price. To me, 1150 for something that's almost, I want to say 90% canvas is a little too much. I mean, you are obviously paying for the brand too, which is, I, you know, understandable, but I feel like it could be a little bit cheaper given that this is also not the biggest one. I believe they have the bigger booty, which does, that one doesn't have a strap. I did not check how much that is, but I think a few months ago, it was like less than a thousand dollars. With inflation, it's possible they had gone up, but I just feel like it could be cheaper, although it's not really bad because it's not like it's over 2000 or anything like that. Um, and then the resale value might not be the greatest when it comes to um, 
Chloe, so just keep that in mind. I usually don't buy an item with the purpose of re or trying to like resell it. I usually, when I buy something, it's because I want it, I want to use it, and eventually when I get tired of it, then I put it, potentially would look into selling it. So right now, I don't think I'm going to get rid of this as of yet. It's a really good bag. I think mostly for the summertime though, or maybe spring. I don't really, I mean, you can obviously use it for whatever season you want, but I, I think this is mainly for like summertime. Um, okay, so no zipper. So that could be an issue for some people, security. So I've never really had an issue where all the contents like fall out whenever I'm using it, but that's because I mainly like, it's usually attached to me when I'm using it. And so if you are, say for example, in a restaurant and you set it, set it down and then the, it goes like that, it's possible that a lot of the contents can fall out, especially if you have like little pieces. But if you have um, catch all, that's not gonna be a problem. Another con, um, doesn't have feet, so it cannot stand on its own. So if you try and set it on a table, it will fall. And you can, you know, that can be annoying. I mean, you can obviously just like put it to one side where it can just like rest against something. And that's not going to be a big deal. But I think it would be better or nicer if it's got feet so that you can actually stand it. Um, what else? Somewhere on the canvas, I already noticed like... For example, where was it? It's like a little bit of snag on the canvas. I'm not really sure if it's gonna show in the camera, but like for example, like these things right here, a little bit of a snag. Don't really know how I got them. Could be that the, they've been there, I just didn't notice, but that one right there. And then um, the sides, you probably will notice a little bit more wearing throughout, especially if you're not careful as to where you are putting the bag, putting it down. So the longevity of it, I'm just not sure how long this will hold as far as like the cleanliness, the we're looking be like looking clean, looking pretty and pristine and all that, just because it's on the lighter side. And yeah, the canvas definitely will show more dirt. That's but so those are just the cons that I noticed. Let's go over to um, what, let's go over the pros. So one, it's a structured, de it's a structured design. So you don't have to worry about its shape being misshapen or losing its shape whenever you're using it because it's a pretty structured bag. You don't really need to add another organizer or shaper so that you can keep the shape because this, this puppy is gonna keep its shape. Um, the, it's cute. I was like, what? So it's cute too. So it can go with a lot of different outfit because it's cute. It's neutral. The color is very neutral. So it can go with a lot of your summer dresses. It can definitely um, go with like casual. It can be, it's not as dressy, of course. So, I mean, can you bring this to like a special occasion? Of course, you can bring whatever you want. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for like night out. So it's definitely a lot more on the casual side. Um, but it is very... Um, it's neutral, so you can pair it with a lot of a lot of things. Um, versatile. Okay, so yes, it is very versatile because you can definitely wear it with just like using the handle. You can wear it crossbody, or you can wear it shoulder strap or shoulder on the shoulder, one shoulder cross crossbody, or um, you know holding it like this. So there's a ton of ways for you to like wear it. So I feel like even though the price is a little bit on the higher side, I think versatility definitely makes up for it. Um, okay, so just a little bit of things that you can put in it. I have, if you have a catch-all, fit in there. If you have a key, in there. Card, in there. Um, and so right now that's what it looks like. And there's really a ton of, of, of room. So this is one of those things where it's not a micro bag, so you can fit it. You can fit a lot of stuff in it and not worry about, you know, will, will my essentials fit? You can even put your sunglasses right there and you will still have plenty of room for whatever else you need to put. These are just kind of like my, 
um, some of the stuff that I usually bring on a, on a daily basis. You can put your phone. I have an I, I, iPhone 14 Pro Max and it definitely fits. So a little bit of a quick mod shot right here. So again, 5'3", about 107 pounds. And I have it on the lowest, uh, shortest setting. This is what it looks like on shoulder. I usually wear it like this. So when I go out, it's normally on my, um, across my body like that. And it, I don't feel like it's too big or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty light. It doesn't hurt my shoulder or anything. It's really, really comfortable to carry. And you can definitely just tuck the strap in if you don't want to. Carry it like that and just do it like so. My mom made a comment. She's like, that looks more like what you would wear in the supermarket. And I said, you know what? It's okay, mom. Summertime. That's what it's meant for. Okay. And for you guys who don't want to have that strap just dangling like that, you can definitely take it off by removing it. So just pull it and it will come off like that. And there you go. Okay, so there's a lot of ways to wear it. Okay, so verdict, would I recommend it? Yes, I do, I would recommend it. Um, especially if you can get it from Europe because that's where I got it and I really got it with like good price. So if you can get it with the European price even better, but even here, like normally, if you just get it and it's the retail price, it's, I say, you, I would recommend it. I would still get it. You just need to make sure that it actually suits your lifestyle. To me, uh, it's very carefree. So um, I would definitely recommend it. I would buy it again if ever I come across it. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about this or anything else that you want to know about, you know, my other bags or whatnot, just please leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.